Hey guys, the One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for One Piece Chapter 811. Now, guys, I honestly don't know how to feel about this chapter because there were some good moments in it, like Nami getting on her moment when she blocked the attack from uh, Wanda and Sonny knew we doing him much. Mokton shot or whatever that thing was called, but and of course the revelation that Big Mom is on her is on her is uh ha, is involved in this arc and Pekon is going to the island. We did all it's not, but I didn't like that Oda makes it out like we didn't know Pekon was from though. That's really fucking obvious. So I felt that like, a little bit offensive to my intelligence. It's like we know Pekon is from though. He's clearly a mink. He is clearly a freaking mink because there can only be one of every devil first. So the only person in talking animal that is not a mink is Chopper. But besides that, there was the fact that, and this bothered me so fucking much. Alright, we're still in goddamn flatback. Zoro said it in the chapter. Curly, Brow, and Caesar still had to disappear from your story. I'm like... Yeah, why the fuck is that? And just... Oh my god, I'm sick of the flashback. I love One Piece, but this arc with the flashback is getting on my nerves. Okay, but putting that aside, we got to see Sanji be awesome. That was really nice to see Sanji do something really cool. That was nice, but... Okay, there, was a, there were a couple things in the chapter, so let me talk about the good parts, really. Nami had a little scuffle with uh, Wanda. That was great. Then we had Nami and Chopper taking care of all the minx after Nami. Or they weren't with Jack and all of this. So we kind of got more explanation to why Luffy being treated as a hero. We also got something... Uh, how do I phrase this? We also got to see Sanji do something. Even though it's not in the present. Sanji had appeared in the fucking present since... Over three goddamn years ago, but that's besides the freaking point. Okay. Then, after all that, Chopper helped the people, so he gets the help out. Brooke doesn't, Brooke exists there, as always. Doesn't do anything and shot the hell out of me. He, Brooke had his big moment last chapter, but. You know, so, Peck, so. There was a line by Brooke and Nami when they pretty much said, we don't think Sanji can come back anymore. Apparently, because of how freaked out everybody in the island was and how traumatic their previous experience is, they didn't want to freak them out even more. But apparently, Peckham, apparently Peckham was in the area. See, when they escaped Big Mom, Peckham followed Peckham, the Big Mom ship, followed them, and yeah, Peckham did on though. And I'm, I I assume whatever happened with Nandi either had probably had to do with Big Mom. Most likely. I think that's why Nami was so upset. And especially, especially that's also why you could tell her and Brooke were getting kind of annoyed with Luffy. Because, you know. And that's why they were annoyed with him. Because they were lying. They just didn't want to say the real reason in front of all the mink. But... I mean, Kaido, Luffy does say he wants to kick Kaido's ass. Caesar does show that he can neutralize the gas. But guys, it just... In all honesty, I just am tired of having an arc. That is literally an arc to recap us on shit. Honestly, what is the point in the Zoe arc? What is the point of it? I don't see one. I don't think there is a point to the Zoe arc. There is an acting now. There is, it, it, it's a pointless arc. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I mean, you know, I take that. I see the point to it, but it's like give us more of the point to it. Give us a villain. Give us a threat. There's no sense of I'm not reading these chapters with a sense of danger. Want to know why? Yeah, I know it's nothing happening in the fucking present. I know Luffy, Luffy sitting around listening to stories, eating a chunk of meat. I am sick of the flashback. Give us legitimate story in the present. I it is the eighth combo Lucy's flashback. It can it's a great flashback. 
But when you're reading something week to week, it gets very fucking annoying when you go in every week and it's a fucking flashback. And this chapter didn't plead me enough. When a chapter pleases me enough, I will let the that then flashback fly. This chapter didn't plead me very much. So I'm just looking at this as more useless ass shit. It's not useless, it's all very important information. And just guys, you can tell I'm ranting here because I'm sick of a flashback. I want to see the story progress. The story is just, we're just filling in gaps right now. The story is at a fucking standstill. Nothing is fucking happening. We're just filling in gaps right now, and it's fucking retarded. I hope a Straw Hat crew doesn't that never get separated like this again. And this is what Oda going to do every time they get separated, have like 20 chat have 11 chapters of recap, of recapping stuff that we didn't see. Just why? Like, what was the point of not doing signing for three years? After every 10 chapters during Dress Grocer, he could have switched over to that, but no. We're not getting anything, and you know what? I'm very disappointed in it. I do know when Year of Sanji has started. I'm hoping it doesn't last all year. I'm hoping, I am hoping, by the end of January, they have left, though. But you know what? I like the mix. I like the concept of those. But unless Oda is going to introduce an antagonist for the island of Zoe, for this arc, and start preparation for an actual plot to get moving, like, a Zoe centered plot, move to the next island. Don't sit in your asses on Zoe, listen to a story. Think, when does Luffy give a shit? All Luffy should, last time I checked, all Luffy would have really cared about was what happened to Sanji. I don't know why he's so interested in what happened to the mix. He, he wasn't interested in what happened to Nami during her childhood. He took a, he, he when Jim makes all the story about Fitcher Tiger, he took a nap. The same thing with Nojiko's story during Nami flashback. And like, Luffy doesn't think, why does, he, and Nami is a close, is a close friend of, it's like Luffy, one of his crewmates, his friend. You know how much Luffy cared about his friend? He didn't care about Nami enough to look up into the story. He would, he, if he actually had to, he would, but he didn't care enough. And I'm like, what makes Luffy care so much about the goddamn story? I am very curious. Guys, listen. If I had to rate the chapter, legitimately rate it. Alright, legitimately rate it. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. You, I'm going, you, guys are, you guys can disagree with me all you want. A 5 out of 10. A 5 out of 10. Uh, it just... I mean, I'm very hyped. I'm hyped for it, and guys, it just, I also think the, the constant breaks are taking a toll on me, they really are. The constant breaks are, I understand Oda needs them, and I respect that, but when you take so many breaks, and you're taking so long to get anywhere, I'm losing my patience. I really, I am. Okay, I waited forever to see Sanji again, we see him one chapter, then he disappears, and we don't see him in the present again. Oda, please, get, 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 uh, by the end of January, I'm, I think by the end of January, I'm hoping at least, by the end of January, the Straw Hats are up, and they're leaving. They're up, packing their bags, they're leaving, though. They're probably not going to, that is what I hope, probably not gonna happen, but, you know, whatever. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this One Piece chapter 811 review. I know this is more of a rant, and I'm sorry about that. But, it just, I honestly, I get angry. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I may be doing a Dragon Ball Super Resurrection of F arc review this weekend. This week, that should be out this week. Depending, I haven't seen the episode yet, but from what I understand, Dragon Ball Super is over. Like, the arc. The resurrection of F is over. Because I, unfortunately, thanks to, uh, thanks to Unreal Entertainment Gaming, I saw one of his thumbnails with Beerus and Chompa fighting. So that tells me 12, 25 is probably the start of the universe this arc or the Chompa stuff. And when Frieza dies, it went on going to uh, do the resurrection of F arc review. Talk about that, but yeah, guys, please like. Comment and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.